Welcome to Woggle Guide. In this guide, I'll show you how to add BCC to emails in Outlook on the web. I'll even explain how you can make sure this option is available permanently. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Microsoft and I'm in my Outlook inbox on the web. Adding a BCC to an email in Outlook is quick to do. Check out the email guide shown above if you're more interested in how to add BCC recipients to an email on the Outlook mobile app. To do that on the web, I'll start by opening a blank email compose window. If I move my mouse pointer to the top right of that new email, you'll see options to add a CC copy option or a BCC blind copy. I'll click on BCC to choose it. A new rule is then added that allows you to type the name of a recipient of the email you send. If I add further recipients to the to line, none of these people will see that the person in the BCC line has received a copy of this email. Remember that person will only see the first email sent and not any replies. I'll now finish my email and I can send that as normal. And if I return to my original Outlook inbox on the web, I'll now show you how you can add the BCC rule to new emails as a permanent option. To do that, I need to go into the settings section of Outlook. This can be found in the top right of my inbox. You'll see there are a number of icons shown here, but the one we're interested in is the cog or gear icon. I'll click once on that to choose it, and a new panel is then opened. I want to go into the detail settings of Outlook, however, so I'll scroll down to the very bottom of that panel and I'll click on the View All Outlook Settings link. A new page is then shown with a number of settings on the right. I want to go into the email settings, which are already open by default, but I'm interested in the Compose and Reply section shown to the right of that column. Let's click on that option to choose it. A new window then opens with a number of settings options. But if I move down that page a little, you'll see there's a message format section. And within that, an option to always show the BCC row on new emails. To choose that, I'll click into the checkbox to the left of the option. Once done, to confirm that change to Outlook settings, all we need to do is click on the Save button at the bottom of the page. We can now close the options box by clicking the small X in the top right of that pop-up window. And from the inbox, if I now open a new Compose window, You'll see that both the BCC and CC rules are shown by default in any new mails. I hope you find this Wago guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.